Hi there, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. I want to do a book review today of a book that is my favorite book of the year so far. It's halfway through the year. I think it's entirely possible that this is not going to be, this, this book won't be toppled out of that top spot. This is The Sun is a Compass by Carolyn Van Hemert. And um, this is a memoir. This is a, the story, just really briefly, of the author and her husband. She is a newly awarded PhD in biology, and uh, her husband finishes his underground work, underground, undergraduate work uh, in art. I think he was an art major. And they travel from the northwest corner of Washington State all the way up through Canada and Alaska to north of the Arctic Circle, and they go entirely of their own volition. They do not use any motors or engines or anything like that. So they're in canoes, kayaks, walking, hiking, skiing, that kind of thing. Which sounds on the surface like, I don't know, like it might not be very interesting, but it totally is. This memoir made me think in ways that um, books don't often do. Uh, especially memoirs. I feel like a memoir is um, so often just simply, you know, this is how I, this is what happened, this is how I felt about it, and they're interesting, but they don't often necessarily interrogate my own beliefs. And um, this one managed to do that. This one made me, I would read it before bed and I wouldn't be able to go to sleep at night because my brain would like, be just switched on and I would just be thinking and thinking and thinking and that is something that has never happened to me before with a memoir so my disclaimer is that part of the reason that I love this book is the um, the place where they left from in Washington is actually my hometown so um, I've never been in a situation where I've read about my hometown especially from a perspective I mean stop full stop there I've never read about my hometown in a book before but I think it was even more special because this the parts of this book that took place there um, I was there then and I did not know these people but I certainly knew people who did so we I, we would not have been very far removed from each other they were just a little older than me at the time of this book I was um, not as old as them <laughs> so uh, yeah so we would we didn't ever cross paths but um, seeing my town seeing my experiences in my town reflected and, and like they lived on a boat in the harbor I never did that I'm not talking like the actual experiences they had but these are the types of people that live in my hometown and so <laughs> That was really fun to read. Beyond that, the story of their adventure was phenomenal. Um, the author was just awarded her PhD in biology right before they left. And so a large part of this story is her interrogating and examining her feelings and her motivations as far as um, what does she do next? And it just so happened that that's exactly kind of what I've been um, thinking about and really contemplating in my own life obviously I'm on a different different scale uh, I didn't take a trip up into the Alaskan wilderness in order to, to make these to have these feelings for myself but they really dovetailed with kind of the things that I've been grappling with myself um, and then the other really cool thing is that the author a biologist studies birds and so she ties her story in with the story of the birds that they see along their way. And she tells us the story of the birds. Um, what birds did they see? What did they look like? What did they sound like? What is their migration pattern? And most importantly, I think, um, how are these birds being affected by human interventions and things like global warming? What kind of things do biologists study about these birds? And she does it in such an accessible way that like, I am someone who kind of actively avoids birds. I am not a big fan of birds, 
but I became really, really interested in them. And I noticed we were just at the zoo this week that I was paying a lot more attention to the birds at the zoo than I ever have before. And I attribute it to this book. So, um, yeah, I, I can't tell you how much I recommend this. This is a story of traveling in the wilderness as a couple and what that means. Uh, it is a story about the birds. It is a story about uh, life priorities and one woman's attempts to find herself. That sounds really hokey and cliche, but that's basically what happens. Um, yeah, but it's all done in a pretty authentic way. Albeit one that would not be easy to repeat by anyone else, but still, um, it's, a, it's a very good story and it is extraordinarily re, uh, well written. This is a book that, the reason that I picked it up is that it was blurbed by Ewan Ivey, who calls it her favorite book of 2019 and one of the best Alaskan books she's ever read, period. So if you wanna know the caliber of this book, I think that's a pretty good description. So let me know if you have read this book or if you plan on reading it after hearing this review because I would love to talk about it with someone because I think it is phenomenal and it was so much fun for me to read. Thanks guys, have a great day.